All right, kids, come on in. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time in a cozy little village, there lived two sisters named Sarah and Bella. Sarah was the oldest, full of curiosity and always eager to share her discoveries with her family. Bella, the younger sister, was always busy with her own adventures, chasing butterflies and playing in the garden. One sunny afternoon, Sarah was exploring the woods near their house when she stumbled upon something extraordinary. It was a small sparkling stone that glowed with all the colors of the rainbow. Oh. Sarah's eyes widened with excitement. She couldn't wait to show her amazing find to her brother Sam wow. and her sister Bella. Sam, look, look what I found! Sarah exclaimed, rushing to her brother who was meticulously building his grand Lego castle. But Sam barely looked up from his creation. Not now, Sarah. I'm in the middle of finishing my Lego castle, he said, his eyes fixed on the intricate structure he was building. Sarah's shoulders drooped, feeling a little sad, but she didn't give up. She thought maybe Bella would be interested. She ran over to where Bella was in the garden, chasing a beautiful butterfly. Wait. Bella, look, look what I found. Sarah said, her voice Wait. filled with excitement, but Bella too was too busy with her own activity. Not now, Sarah, I need to catch this butterfly. Feeling disheartened, Sarah sat down on a nearby log. She held the glowing stone in her hands and watched as it sparkled. She felt alone and unimportant. Hmm. Suddenly, an old wise eagle named Oliver, who lived in the tallest tree in the woods, flew down and perched beside her. Why so sad, little one? Oliver asked in a gentle voice. This amazing stone, but no one wants to see it. Sarah replied, tears welling up in her eyes. Oliver looked at the stone and then at Sarah. Let me tell you something, Sarah. Sometimes people get so caught up in their own activities that they forget to appreciate the wonders around them. But that doesn't mean what you found is any less special. Sarah nodded, feeling a bit better. But what should I do? She asked. Sometimes, Oliver said, you need to find the right time to share your joy. And other times, you can create something wonderful on your own and let others discover it in their own time. With renewed energy, Sarah decided to create something magical with her glowing stone. She found a quiet spot in the woods and placed the stone in the middle of a circle of flowers. She arranged the flowers around it, making it look like a beautiful, enchanted fairy garden. Days passed, and one morning, Sam and Bella were playing in the woods when they stumbled upon Sarah's creation. They were mesmerized by the glowing stone surrounded by the vibrant flowers. Sarah, this is incredible, Sam exclaimed. How did you make this? Bella asked, her eyes wide with wonder. Sarah smiled and said, I wanted to share this with you both, but you were busy. So I made a special place for us to enjoy together. Sam and Bella felt a little guilty for not paying attention earlier, but they were also proud of their sister for creating something so beautiful. From that day on, they made a promise to always take a moment to appreciate each other's discoveries and creations. The moral of the story is, always take time to appreciate and support the people around you. Everyone has something special to share, and sometimes the greatest treasures are found when we come together and listen to one another. <laughs>